Hi guys, my name is Grace and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're here, you're probably interested in plants or maybe you're wanting to adopt a green friend during quarantine. But whatever the reason, I'm so happy to have you, so let's get started. Today I wanted to share with you 5 easy care, fast growing plants for beginners. So you're probably wondering, what do I mean by easy care or fast growing? And that's a great question, so let's break it down. So what do I mean by easy care? You're only going to need two things really, sunlight and water. You don't have to worry about filtered water, humidity, temperature and all that jazz. These plants will do fine regardless. In terms of light, these plants will tolerate moderate to low light. It's not ideal, but they'll still grow for you. And in terms of watering, you don't have to water too frequently. These guys do better drying out a little bit in between waterings. Okay, so what about fast growing? If you're starting out with a plant like this with only one growth point, producing leaves every one to two weeks is considered pretty fast growing. Also, the plants on this list are pretty easy to propagate, so you can actually speed up growth by propagating some of these plants and planting them back into the mother plant for a bushier pot much quicker. All right, so with that out of the way, let's jump into my five easy care fast growing plant recommendations. First plant on the list is the good old pothos. These guys are super easy to care for. If you're just starting out, pothos is the perfect starter plant for any beginner. As I mentioned before, you just need to give this bright indirect light and water when the soil is dry. In fact, it's really easy to tell when this plants need a bit of watering because when it's thirsty, it'll start to droop a little or the leaves will start to look a little bit limp, which makes it easier for you because it takes out all the guesswork and you don't have to worry about overwatering it. So there are many different types of pothos. There's the jade green pothos and the devil's ivy pothos. And in my opinion, these guys are probably the true champions of easy care, fast growing plants. Then they're variegated counterparts because they have more green on their leaves. But I'm a sucker for variegation and I only have two in my collection, both with white variegation. So this one here is a marble queen pothos. And this is a Manjula pothos. If you like white variegation like me, then I highly recommend these two pothos to start out with. Just make sure to put it in bright and direct light to preserve the white variegation, as these guys do tend to revert, like this leaf right here. I got this Marble Queen around the beginning of the year. And this is what it looked like when I first got it. And I got this Manjula around November last year, and this is what it looked like when I first got it. So I would say the Marble Queen Pothos grows a lot quicker than the Manjula, but you can't go wrong either way. It just really depends on which you prefer the look of. By the way guys, if you're interested in seeing the growth on these plants, be sure to check out my Instagram at my fellow foliage. Moving on to plant recommendation number two and that's the Heartleaf Philodendron. These guys are as easy to take care of as the pothos. You just need to give it bright and direct light and water when the soil is dry. In fact, you probably don't need to give this as much light as the um, variegated pothos because it doesn't have any variegation to sustain. It'll still grow for you, just a little bit slower. So this is a lemon-lime philodendron, or what we call the philodendron curdatum gold here in Australia. I got this around September last year, and this is what it looked like when I first got it. I love the look of a bushy pot of trailing heartleaf philodendrons, so I propagated this like crazy last season. Can you guess how many plants there are in this pot now? Go ahead, take a guess, and put it in the comments down below. So there are actually one, two, three, four, five different plants in this pot right now. I think it's getting there. It's getting to be a trailing bushy pot. Similar to the pothos, there are many different varieties of heartleaf philodendrons and I've got two more in my collection to show you today. 
So this is a small pot of philodendron Brazil. And I've also got here a basket of philodendron lichens. So these guys are not as common as the neon philodendron I mentioned earlier, or the lemon lime philodendron, um, but they're easy to care for as well and equally as fast growing. All right, so let's move on to plant recommendation number three, and that's the Fingonium. This is another super easy hair plant for beginners. It can grow in low light conditions and you only need to water it when the soil is dry. I found that this variety grows like a weed because at any given point in time, there is always so many new leaves unfurling. So I've got two in my collection to share with you. This is a neon syngonium and I've also got here a syngonium roxana. This is one of my OG plants that I bought when I was just starting out on my plant journey. I can insert a photo of what these looked like a couple months ago. So as you can see, it's really starting to vine out now, which is quite common for syngoniums to do, but I'm not quite sure if I'm a fan of this look, so I might just propagate it and we'll see how that goes. If you're looking for an office plant, I would highly recommend considering the syngonium because not only is it easy to care for, it doesn't mind growing in artificial light as well. And the arrowhead shaped leaf is quite unusual, which makes it quite interesting to look at. There are so many different types of syngoniums with different colors and veining patterns and things like that. So it's really easy to fall into a syngonium rabbit hole. So consider yourself warned. Last but not least, it's the oh, Monstera. This guy requires little introduction. It is a staple in any plant enthusiast collection. It's easy to care for, it's not fussy, and it's relatively fast growing as well. As I mentioned before, just give it bright indirect light and water when the soil is dry. You'll also be able to tell when it's thirsty because some of the lower leaves will start to curl, like this one here and this one here. And knowing these telltale signs will be really helpful to prevent you from overwatering or underwatering the plant. This is one of my OG plants when I first started out along with that syngonium. I got this around mid 2019 and when I first got it, it only had these unfenestrated leaves 
um, and one fenestrated leaf, which is this one right here. And in one growing season, it's given me all these new leaves and it's grown into a monster that you see here today. So if you're wondering why some of these leaves don't have as many splits or fenestrations, that's because when the plant was producing these leaves, it was in a lower light location. So if you want more splits and fenestrations that's characteristic of a monstera, just be sure to give it access to bright indirect light. So those are my recommendations for five easy care fast growing plants for beginners. I made sure to select ones that are relatively easy to find and also inexpensive regardless of where you are in the world. So if you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you like to see more content from me. I have more videos like this lined up, so I hope to see you soon.